That is our license to send. I don't know about all this. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Donation Off-Road. So today we are bringing you everybody's favorite type of video and that is a Winchers video. Now, this truck has been sitting for the past five or six months. Um, last time we used it was actually a King of the Hammers 2024. And in that video, we did a lot of stuff. We broke leaf springs, axle shafts, and there's just a whole host of other issues that this truck has been having for a long time now. It's time to get it going. It's time to do some maintenance and it's time to get this thing some much needed upgrades. Now we're getting into summertime and I don't know why this, this kind of seems to be a yearly routine of mine of use winters during like wheeling season, break it, then it sits for springtime. And then during summertime, I always fix it so I can take it out and go do hard lines. Cause you know, we're getting into summer, which means Hardline Heat Tour shenanigans. And it's been like this for the last couple of years. I mean, 2020, we did the engine swap. Now the engine swap took a long time. We didn't finish that until like December of 2020, but used it a couple of times with the engine swap. Then we got into the axle swap. Then the next year we did the doublers, the manual transfer case swap, 40 inch tires. And then last year we did the 14 bolt swap. We did hydro steering. And then, pff, I don't remember, we did a couple other things. In this video, besides all the things that I have to fix and take care of, there's a lot of maintenance that needs to be done on this truck, and we'll go through that in a second. The big thing that we're gonna be doing in this video is a cage. Finally, this thing is gonna have a cage. Now, based off how the truck looks, you wouldn't believe me when I say that I actually tried to make sure I don't roll over this thing and, and flip it because I've never had a cage on it. You know, yeah, I've bashed up the sides. I've done all that stuff. <laughs> you like my garage thing there? But I also wanted to make sure that I don't mangle up the cab too bad. So in this video, we actually have a cage on order. It's gonna be here in a couple days. Till then, I'm gonna be working on all the other stuff that I have to fix on this truck. So just running through a couple of the things that we need to take care of in this video, we gotta fix the passenger side axle, which we have a new chromoly shaft that we're gonna be putting on. We have to fix the hub. We have to do some maintenance on the steering. So these Heim joints, they have a bunch of play. Those are ready to get swapped out. For the engine, we just gotta do some basic tune-up stuff. So I'm gonna change the spark plugs. I'm gonna clean out the intake. I'm gonna change the air filter and just kind of go through all of that stuff, make sure all the vacuum lines are solid. Over here, which is a big one, we have a nasty, nasty power steering leak. So we're gonna have to take this box out get it all cleaned up and then we have to reseal the box to make sure that it is not leaking anymore i think other than that i think that's it for now everything else i mean maybe we'll change the the fluid in the diffs you know obviously an oil change check everything else you know grease up whatever i gotta grease up and yada 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 interior stuff we're gonna be doing an interior cage so this whole interior, it's all messy, but we're gonna have to strip everything out. We're gonna weld in this cage and then we'll put the carpet back in. We'll put everything else back in. And then just, I gotta do some interior stuff. I gotta work on like, I have no electronics in here. So I, you know, the radio works, but I got no speakers. So probably gonna off of Bruiseberry, probably gonna steal the sound bar and put it on the cage. So we actually have some sound in here. And then I gotta rig up a 12 volt cigarette lighter so I can have some actual charging in here or maybe do an inverter. I don't know, there's a bunch of things that I wanna do. I don't know exactly what we're gonna get done in this video. We'll have to see. The main thing is fix the truck, get it going, get the cage in. Now, obviously there's a lot of things that we have to do on this truck. I don't know how much we're gonna get done in this video. As it sits right now, we got four weekends until Ford Ice and the Rubicon. And my goal is to take this truck on that trip. Plus we gotta do a little bit of testing, make sure it's gonna work and you know, like a, a shakedown. I gotta kind of relearn to drive this truck cause I've been driving the Tacoma, I've been driving Bruisebury. It's just been a mess. So we gotta get this thing ready to go. We got a month until the Rubicon. So today is the first day that we're gonna get started working on this thing. Cause I am itching to drive this truck and hey, Going to a trail like Fordyce and the Rubicon, you definitely want to bring the best of what you got. I'm going to stop rambling for now. Let's just, hey, first things first, in this video, I only got a couple hours to work on the truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on getting it on some jack stands and swap out that driver's side or passenger side axle. And then if we can get this leaf spring swapped out, we'll do that. Maybe we'll pull it out of the garage and, you know, get a good look at her. We'll see, but we're going to see what we can get done today. And then we'll be working on this 
vigilantly for the next month or so, trying to get ready and we'll see how it goes. Wish us luck. Oof, now check that out. So this is the side that we broke. So axle seal is obviously leaking. We'll show you why, but then we got broken axle shaft on the inside there. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. I think I'm gonna need a new spindle, which I do have one sitting over there. So we'll have to replace that, as well as some other stuff. So let's see how this goes. Well, all right, first time taking, I think there's a trunnion bearings or something. First time taking those off in a very, very long time. Probably since I did the sass. So, ooh, even that's fucked up inside there. Oh, that's the actual shaft. Yeah. So we gotta try and get this out now. See how that goes. I don't know why we decided to start this build right when summer's starting, but hey, let's do some dremeling, right? See if we can save this axle housing. And if we can do that. All right, so cleaned up the housing a little bit. Luckily, I had a seal in stock in, in uh, Dirt Nation Garage. Let's see if we can put this in. This is the key to the whole thing. If this doesn't go in and seal correctly, then we need a whole new axle housing. So let's, uh, uh, wish me luck. I think that is in. I think that's in. And just for reference, here's our old one. See, when uh, axle shaft went, yeehaw, this went, eh. Next up, this thing got seized onto there, so I'm gonna have to replace, hopefully the hub is okay, the brakes, um, and the knuckle, but I do have another snout, and I'll have to get some new hardware, but I'm pretty sure I have all that shit. Let's just see. Wow, I can't believe I got that off. Wee. Also, <laughs> we're uh, soaking up everything there. Just giving everything a little bit of a little chinga, you know, getting all over the glasses. It's fucking perfect. So, bearing took a shit. <laughs> Not surprised there. But we did get this separated. I do have another spindle, so we could take that off. We're going to have to clean all of this up. Make sure, I think the race is good. We'll see, we're gonna clean it all up and then continue from there. All right, here we are after work. It's been a couple days, but we did pick up some parts. So we got a new spindle. We got some trunnion bearings. We got some hardware. And then I got some other stuff sitting over there. Let's get started. All right, been at it for a few minutes now. So got the knuckle on, trunnion bearings in. And now we got the axle shaft in. Just trying to make sure that spins. Yeah, it does. This is hard to spin, but it does spin. Just got to put the spindle on, and we got to start doing bearings. But doing what we can, running out of daylight. But we'll get somewhere tonight. All right, there it is. Spindle's on. That's going to be it for today. We'll continue tomorrow. I'm waiting for brakes to come in, and then we still got to clean up the hub. The hub is a fucking mess from that broken axle shaft. So we'll get all that done tomorrow. Still got to change like steering components. We got a bunch of things to do, but hey, one step at a time, one month away, let's fucking get it. All right, well, it's crunch time. It's always crunch time, isn't it? Especially with this crunchy little truck here. Always crunch time. But we are now three weeks away from four dice. I got today, I got next weekend, and then all the little time after work to get this thing done. Now, we have a lot to do, but it shouldn't be too bad. We will see. The hardest part is gonna be this little beautiful thing right here. You see that? This is, that's our roll cage. So we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. There's a lot that we gotta do beforehand. Quick little update. I pulled the steering off of the truck, so steering is currently off of it. We are rebuilding the steering. We're gonna do new Himes. This side I got almost done in terms of like all the bearings and everything, so we still gotta, kind of put all this shit together we still got to do the hub and do all that but we'll have that done soon enough we also got some set of brake pads that we're doing all right let's see there we go yeah so that's 
good. All right, next order of business. So when I took this apart originally, there was a bunch of water inside the axle side. So I'm gonna drain this diff. Now we are asking, Dustin, why don't you drain it from right here? Well, I welded that plug, so we don't have that. That's some nasty oil. Let's take a look in there. See how black that is? It's not good. So, got all this all done. Drained all the fluid. We're pretty much done for now. We are continuing. I'm starting to tear apart the interior a little bit because we have to get this carpet out in order to do the cage. Um, I don't know what's underneath there, but we got to tear all this shit out. Seat's got to come out. It's all got to come out. All right. I don't even know where to put this fucking seat. Put the seat in the YJ. Oh my God, I was looking for this 12 for the longest time. This thing is rusted beyond, but is it a Pittsburgh? If it's a Pittsburgh, I could take it back. We'll clean that up. We'll see if we can restore that. Fucking off spray. We'll need that for the fucking Ford Ice. Grab our trash bag. I'm gonna keep throwing shit away. Okay. Air freshener, goodbye. This, goodbye. Ooh, plug kit. This is important. That goes in there. I've been looking for that. Random switch. I'm going to toss it. Business cards. Goodbye. It up a little. Freshen it up, maybe. I'll clean that carpet for sure. GoPro died. So we go into the good camera. And if you're wondering what the good camera is, it's the DJI. All right, check out that old carpet kit. Oof. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> Where's Perky? Let me get that. Uh, get some of this shit off of here. Very good, very good. Probably not the best way to clean this, but guess what it'll do. It'll do, it's a crawler. This truck's lucky I'm putting the carpet back in it. But. All right, so what we're working on next, very important stuff. So we've been using this uh, Rough Stuff one ton steering for probably maybe the past three years. So we're finally gonna refresh it with some new hives. So got a left hand thread, right hand thread, got two of each. We also got some of these alignments. Some of them I am reusing, not recommended, but hey. But I did replace some of the hardware, some of the alignments. Got this. All right, the shenanigans continue. We are about two and a half weeks away from departing to Fordyce. Today, I hope to get this truck on the road. I hope I drive it tonight because we're not going to finish it in daylight. We got like, I don't know, an hour and a half of light left, and we got a few things to take care of. Um, just got back from work. We have a freshly tapped steering box. So this is the stock steering box that I had in the truck for a long time. Never really leaked or had any problems. Always was a strong box. In fact, I have a suspicion that it was rebuilt at one point, but we'll, we'll leave that alone for now. This is our old box. This one is for some reason seized up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that rebuilt, but we got this one tapped. So we're gonna throw that in. We have some steering. So we put on through, uh, put on some fresh Himes, repainted the steering and i'm gonna have to throw the shocks back on i took them off to kind of take some measurements and do all that jazz all good stuff so we got to get this thing all buttoned up got to get out of the garage and we got to throw the 40s back on it so that i can drive it so maybe i could take it to work tomorrow there's an off-road meet tomorrow burgers and beer it's out in temecula i'm gonna try and go out there and take the truck and go flex on some jeeps i think that'd be really cool so let me show you guys real quick 
Got the power and steering cooler almost installed. We're gonna hook it up to the front of the radiator right there. Um, so what I did is I took off the low pressure line that would normally go to the box. Then I went ahead and connected it on the bottom right here. Then they provide a hose to where you can tie it in back to the steering box. And then I just cut off the slack. So there is some extra hose, but I'm gonna have to just use these little ties those go through the radiator to where you can mount it right on there. Preferably you would want it higher, but I don't have a lot of space to work with. So I'm gonna mount it on the low end and kind of hope for the best. Cause these, gotta kinda do these little stick lines here go above. Yours is gonna go on the front of the knuckle right there. Da, 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 da. <sighs> all right we're back in business the truck is moving i'm gonna have to change the power steering pump that's kind of obvious i mean i ran that thing pretty hard for a long time with like no fluid in it so we are gonna have to swap out the uh, power steering pump but truck is here it is driving it's doing all right i still gotta adjust a couple things so we'll see how that goes um, right now, got a dentist appointment, going to work. We got burgers and beer later. It's all going to be fun stuff. But right now, I just want to put some miles on it, make sure that it's going to drive and steer and do everything that it needs to do. Because, hey, we're, we're getting prepped for Ford Ice, right? Ford Ice is going to be a long trip. You got to do a lot of driving, right? It's not just the wheeling aspect. So we got to make sure this truck's solid. We'll keep working on it. Fucking Andrew. We're gonna do the power steering pump on this thing real quick. Got a new one right there. That way all steering is fresh. Woo. All right, look, good stuff. Four by Innovations cage going that way. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> All right, first up, so this is gonna be our C pillar hoop. Now they come in two pieces. Normally it would be all one piece that they bend together. They do give you a sleeve, so we drilled some holes so that when the sleeve's in there like that, weld it, weld it, weld it and then we'll be good to go. So we're gonna tack this in there, make sure it fits correctly in the truck. That'll be step one. And then we have another hoop over there we gotta do the same thing for. All right, you want my balls or my ass? All above. Or here, Jeremy, step on one side, I'll step on the other. How about, how about we work, work yeah. smarter and not gayer? <laughs> I think it was fine. We're working on it. We're doing a little bit of screen notching and tacking and I'm gonna put in the cross, so this will be the C pillar. It goes all the way in the, shush, and then we'll do the, shush, and the, shush, and then I'll hit my head in the cage and go. Shush. And there's no way we're gonna be able to both of them. You don't think so? Together. I don't know. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Buddy. All right, this is, this is what I'm talking about. Holy fuck, you guys got it. Yeah, we got it. Oh, okay. Fuck. We're breaking everything on the way in, buddy. You got it. That's a fucking cage.
So what we're working on right now, and this is kind of the unforeseen problems of first of all, lifting and caging, or not lifting, but caging a truck that already has a body lift. And also caging a truck that has already got a cab that's been mangled. Um, so right now we got this, this is all pressed up against right here, yada, yada, yada. What we're trying to figure out is the fucking plates. So these plates right here, we have to figure out a good spot to put them because you have a body mount right here, which means this whole area is unusable. Same with over here. Right here, we got some space to work with. So we're figuring out this spot, which is why Jeremy is over there fucking doing some hammer down shenanigans. So what we'll do is we'll drill these out, bolt them into place. That way we can get those welded in and then we still have to finagle the rest of these. Progress, progress, progress. All right, home stretch. So look, a pillar is in. We still need to figure out the plates. Plates are done back here. Plates are done back there. We're gonna have to weld all this together. But right now we are still connecting these Vergas all together. Took out our uh, our sun visors. Womp womp. We lost our sun visors. We're losing our sun roof, and we are losing our cab lights. But I do have 12 volts right there, so we'll be able to do that. And we do gain a handle. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it goes somewhere like right here. I, I'd probably rather put them right here. Mm -hmm. Well, you can do like right here. I think right there. That way there someone yeah, can grab that, it when they're fucking wheeling and shit. That, that lines up real nice, so. Yeah. The dust and test with the with the cage tack welded or installed. Sure. Oh. Yep. Yep. That's a problem. So you got right there. Wait, just just sit normal? Just like you normally would? Yeah. That's right at your head. Yeah. So this is getting the soft fucking, this is getting pool noodle for sure. This is, I'm gonna hit my head on this until I get used to it. Same thing, pool noodle. This is gonna be fine. That'll be fine, but it's gonna be right here and right here. Or we just put your floor pan and you can see like two inches lower. All right, well, we have a functioning cage. Well, I don't know if it functions. Jeremy, you wanna test the cage? Yeah. Here, test, test the cage. Let's go roll it. So <laughs> fucking roll it. Here, this is your cage test. It's not moving. I mean, it's definitely it's, not moving. It's yeah, solid. she's welded in there. Jose, you confident in the welds? Of course you are. Look at that. <laughs> but we're in. So I'm gonna throw some fucking paint on it. And we still got a lot of other things to do, but we're done for today. Goodbye. Hard at work, finishing up the truck. Cage is, is in. I did tack it, or not tack it, I did touch it up with some paint. Did all that stuff. Right now I am working on remounting the seats. I'll show you guys what I did in a little bit, probably tomorrow. For now, I got a little bit extra time. I'm still trying to clean up this carpet. Hey, I'm trying to, this, yeah, I don't know about all this. This thing, like, I shampooed it and look at all the dirt still coming off of it. Oof. We're getting this interior wrapped up. Cages in. Looks good. We did uh, throw some paint on it. I mean, we didn't get everywhere, but whatever. See, so yeah, I, I missed a little bit of paint up there. Don't care. Cages in. That's all that matters. Right now, what I'm working on is I have to remount the seats because I did break a couple things on this side. You know, I, I'm not a skinny guy. Um, and I don't know if these seats were designed for 300, you know, plus pound, six foot three dudes to be bouncing around and yeehawing their truck everywhere. So we're having to do a little bit of extra things to get the seats mounted correctly because 
when I first put these Honda Prelude seats in, the front's matched up, right? This is a stock location. In the back, I just drilled a hole through the floor. And what ended up happening was, so here's the hole that I drilled. This is the hole that we used to have. That was a, you know, a threaded out hole. So you can see right here, I ended up breaking the floor to where this was becoming a liability. This side, I didn't actually even do anything. So I was only going, I was rocking with three, you know, mounting the seat. So we've drilled out another one right here. You can see I got this seat mounted in nice and solid, looking good. I broke uh, the nut right here. So I just put uh, a bolt going through, tack welded that right there. Had to do a little bit of tack welds right there to get that all into place. But for the back part, what we're doing is I took a little bit of inspiration from the cage because this is plates clamping on the top and the bottom. So what I went ahead and did is I made some plates so that we can put this through. So this one is actually skinny because you have to you have to fit it inside here in order to for the seat to roll all the way back. Otherwise it gets stuck and we're like right here. So considering me and my son are around the same size, we need the seats all the way back. So I'm going ahead and using these plates. So this is the bottom, this is the top. And what that'll do is that's gonna sandwich right here. And then I have one for right here. So I actually put the plate and I tack welded it to the seat. So that's the top plate. And then the bottom plate is sitting over there that goes on the bottom. It'll sandwich right here and it's gonna hold that seat nice and tight. So same thing, this is the other side. So now that this one's all mounted up, what I'm gonna work on doing is we're gonna start putting the carpet back in which is a uh, carpet sitting over there, cleaned it up as best I could. We're gonna put that back in. And then inside, I mean, we're essentially done. We still gotta put the doors on and yada, yada, yada. But we're looking good, we're feeling good and tasting good. Shut up. All right. Nasty carpet going back in. Oh, it's nasty. It's too nasty. Just wanted to do a quick announcement. I am hereby retired from rock crawling because, you know, once you have a nice, clean truck, you don't want to do anything to ruin it. Yeah, 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 I just threw a cage in it. All good, but look at this carpet. Oof, it hasn't looked this good in a very, very, very long time. The dash, don't worry about it. Dude, I can sell this thing for some dollars now. Look at that, oof, look at them cuts. Look at them cuts for the cage. Delicious. Yeah, double seat belt? You guys don't know about that. Here, watch, dude. Let me check fitment. OEM gaps. I mean, you tell me. Look, how many 80s trucks can take this beating or have taken this beating and still close that clean? All right. The next step in uh, um, Operation Protect Dustin and his body. Jose's learning how to shit box. That's normal. Oh, broken is normal? That's factory. OEM? Any whore, we're going to be putting some pool noodles in. Check it out. So Jose can go floaties. That's, that's, that's AC like fucking mine. Hey. Shazoo! Now you're going to get my, <laughs> my herpes. Anyways, that's going to be pool noodles that we're going to be putting on the top right here. This is uh, to protect my head because God knows I'm going to hit my head a bunch and we don't want that. Shell yeah, brother. Hey, we. So How that's going to be, do I don't know. Here, hold this. Yonder? Except that one kind of didn't fit on that correctly. But no, that's good. Just got to cut it. It's right there like that, huh? So we're going to do that one, this one. Definitely this one is the most important one. Okay. Oh, that one that, too. That one too? <laughs> Hey, that one too, or what? Are <laughs> oh. you good, or what? Bro, that's a good one. You better add that shit to the video if you recorded it. <laughs> no, man, that's a whole Wait, was it facing you when you hit it? No. There you go, hey, Dustin. Dustiando.
the pool noodles are in. So they're not perfect, but you know what? If I do hit my head a couple times, this will help. I also put some handles on there. These are for passengers and myself. So we do have these handles and we do have these handles. These ones, you know, they're not like the most solid thing in the world, but hey, they are gonna work. Plus I have some extras right there, but I think we're all wrapped up for now. We're gonna button up some final stuff, make sure it's all good to go. And then, hey, we will wrap the shenanigans up after that. There's a piece of trash going by. Anyways, goodbye. she blows flexing as good as ever that's for sure oof we're back to that forgot about that what's funny is i'm doing a flex test when i didn't do anything that would uh necessitate you know a flex test but why not right cool well there it is all right, um, I think I'm going to be comfortable enough to wrap up this video and call it from here. There was a couple other things I wanted to do in anticipation for Ford Ice, but I don't think I'm going to have the time and I'm not going to have the funds. That's all good. We're going to do some of those things next time. Um, I was planning on getting some new shocks and I was also going to get some bead locks, but we're not going to do that on this time. We will do that in another Winters build video, but... Let's do one last walk around, take a look. Hey, truck is back. I'm, I'm happy to see that. First time putting it in four wheel drive in a very, very, very long time. So we'll be taking her out to Fordyce and the Rubicon in the next video. Hey, we did a lot in this video. Um, mostly we fixed the truck, took care of some stuff that, that has been lingering for a long time. And the most important thing is we did put in a cage that is our license to send now hey all bets are off right we tip over we roll over we know the truck is mostly going to be okay i was worried for a long time i know it doesn't seem like it based off how it looks but i was kind of worried about rolling the truck because i didn't want to crush the cab and you know completely ruin the thing but now we're in a position where hey truck's already been beat up for a long time finally got a cage inside of it we got to build off of this cage we got to do some extra things but for now hey Winters is back. I am so happy. But hey, that's going to be it for this one. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Patreon. You all know, it for shirts, hats, hoodies, and all those other goodies. Dirt Nation Off-Road, BigCartel.com. If you guys have any questions or any comments, concerns, or you want to know what's been done to this truck, make sure to check out. We will have a playlist down below on a full build on all the things we've done to Winters over the years. The freaking axle swap, the front axle swap, the drive chain change, the engine swap. 40s freaking cage obviously and everything else that we've done you guys can find all those videos down below we're all done here thank you guys let's get it